If you would have told me at the beginning of the season that the OKC Thunder would be this good, then I'm going to be completely honest. I would not have believed you at all. Now, I know obviously they showed a ton of promise last season. They ended the year as a 10th seed in the West and snuck into the playing tournament with one of the youngest rosters in the league. And Shea was unbelievable that year, making an all-star team while averaging 30. But the assumption was that this rebuild would be a multi-year thing, right? It looked like one of those situations where we'd have to wait it out a few years for this team to be a real playoff team. But obviously they are way ahead of schedule as things stand. And they've got one of the best records in the NBA and they've been floating around that one to two seed in the West for most of the season. And they really strangely remind me a bit of the Memphis Grizzlies a few years ago. Remember when Memphis traded Mike Conley and that officially ended that grind city era? And then that summer they drafted Ja, partnering him with Jaron Jackson and it looked like the rebuild situation there in Memphis would take a few years. But surprisingly the Grizzlies started that 2019-2020 season off red hot, going just one game short of the playoffs in a loss in the bubble to the Blazers. And since then, obviously before Ja's situation both on and off the court, the Grizzlies have been a consistent threat in the Western Conference. And OKC is looking like they're going in that exact same direction. After parting ways with Chris Paul, stockpiling on draft picks, and letting SGA develop into a star-level player, we look at them now and they're one of the best teams across the entire league. As things stand, they're sitting well within the top five in both defensive and offensive rating, and it's been that way for the entirety of the season. And that's really rare for a young team to be playing this well on both sides of the ball. Usually I feel like with these younger groups, there's one thing that they excel at while either being just okay or struggling on the other end. Look at the Rockets, for example. They've been a really good defensive team for the most part of the season, but offensively, they haven't been able to click. But that's not been the case at all for OKC. They're playing flat out amazing basketball on both ends. And we obviously have to go back and talk about the play of SGA, who's making an insane MVP case, looking to be the Thunder's third different league MVP in the last 15 years. We can talk about his offense as he's putting up over 30 a game for the second consecutive season, but his defense has also been amazing. He's leading the NBA in steals, and their defensive numbers are at their best when he's on the floor. Floor. And that seems like an extreme rarity in today's game for players exerting that much effort on the offensive end. Usually you see players be so dynamic on offense while sacrificing defense, but that's not the case with SGA. And I'm not saying he's like an all-world defensive player, but his two-way game totally reflects how the Thunder play as a whole. And we can also talk about how young this team is, but an advantage they have going into the postseason is that two guys in their starting lineup already have big game playoff experience. For example, Lou Dort was huge for OKC in 2020 when they came just a game short of reaching the second round of the playoffs. And SGA himself has been in the playoffs twice as a starter, doing it for the Clippers his rookie year and once again for the Thunder in year two. So if you're worried about their playoff experience as a whole, don't forget, while they're relatively a young group, they still got guys who can perform on the postseason stage. They've been amazing, and I really can't wait to see what the rest of the season has in store for them. We've been surprised over the last few years at how deep some of these teams can get in the playoffs. So please, while you're making your predictions, don't hold back on your expectations for this Thunder team come April.